my name is Amanda Marta Uli. I'm from English Education Department of Universitas Kristen Indonesia. Welcome to my teaching video. If you want to know another video, you can check link in description below. Don't forget to bring your pen, your uh, book, uh, your dictionary, and your English book so you can write and summarize the lesson. So let's get started. Okay, before we move to the lesson, I want to ask you, what are you doing now? Yes, you are studying in English now. Okay, how about yesterday? What were you doing yesterday? Or maybe you are shopping with your mom yesterday? Or you were cooking when your father asked you to wash the dishes? It's probably the happen out. Then what will you doing tomorrow? Maybe you will be coming to your friend's birthday tomorrow or you will be cleaning your house at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We don't know because everybody is in the middle of something. Have a paragraph. There are three tense, tenses which are present continuous tense, past continuous tense, and future continuous tense. But before that, we have to read the paragraph, okay? <coughs> City's hobby is reading novel. Now she is reading novel. When I saw her in the canteen, she was reading a novel. I'm sure. I'm sure when I meet her next time, she will be reading novel 2. For the first one is, the green one is present continuous tense and the red one is past continuous tense and the last is, the blue one is future continuous tense. Okay, so for today we are going to learn about two state sentences in progress at the time of speaking. So there is a many parts in this uh, in this chapter. So this is the first part. So for today we are going to learn about past continuous tense. So the definition of past continuous tense. It is used to express a continued or ongoing action in the past. So ongoing action which occur in past and complete at some point in the past. Past continuous tense is also uh, called by past progressive tense. So, <coughs> the condition or an event have the condition or an event have occurred in the past, not in the present. So, same as continuous tense, uh, same as present continuous tense, they call it present progressive tense. So same with the past continuous tense, they call this past progressive tense. The function. Uh, the function of past, past continuous tense, the first is to indicate an action that occurred during, during the, a particular moment in the past. So for example, I was shopping at this time yesterday. So she doing the action in the past, but the exact of the of the time. Okay. Next, a second function is to show that there is a simple past tense that that occurs when the long action or the past continuous tense is in progress. For example, she was sleeping when you called her. So the duration. So. The duration of she was sleeping is longer, but when you but even though what the when you call her, uh, you can see here when you call her, it is a short duration. So you can use the short duration as the simple past tense, and the long action duration you can use past continuous tense to declare an event 
incident or action that has not been completed when other actions have been carried out or, or occurred. For example, I was cooking when my husband came. So the first so the first event has not been finished. So the first event has not been finished, but the second event came when it was occurred. Okay, we move to the structure of past continuous tense. So in past continuous tense, there are three structure of sentences which are positive sentences, positive sentence, negative sentence, and interrogative sentence. So <clears throat> I will explain you one by one. So in the first one is positive sentence. Positive sentence base is subject plus to be was or were plus per person participle or verb ing plus object. For example, they were buying books yesterday. Or you can use she, he, or it. For example, she was buying books yesterday. And then a negative sentence. Subject plus to be, or was or were, plus not, plus present participle, or verb ing, plus object. For example, they were not buying books yesterday. And another example, she was not buying books yesterday. And next interrogative sentence. So to be, to be was or were plus subject plus <coughs> plus present participle or or for PNG, then object. Then question mark. For example, were they buying were they buying books yesterday, or was she buying books yesterday? So this is our, these are the the structure of past continuous tense. Okay, the last is time signal. So uh, the in this. In past continuous tense, you can use many of time signal. So it is important to know the tense based on this time signal. So you can uh, refer to the time signal in the tense. For example, in past continuous tense, you can use all day yesterday, the world as today, while, the world day last week, Past continuous when simple past, so the event A is which happened when B is happened. So you can use this past continuous, then then followed by when and simple past, or you can use past continuous followed by while with past continuous again. So. Even A and even B is happen together. Okay, we will have some exercise. Basically, uh, you can see here there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven questions about past continuous tense. So you have to answer by uh, you answer this question by looking through the bold, bold word and change it with the correct ones. So for example, I give you the first example, the number one. When I phone my friends, they, they play Monopoly. Past continuous is, when I phone my friends, they were playing Monopoly. So the, remember to use subject, plus was or were and then verb ing and then the object okay number two yesterday at six i prepared dinner okay what do you think about number two don't forget about the formula okay 
Yes, number two is yesterday at six I was preparing dinner. So I when when we use uh, I we can use was okay not I were but I was okay I was and then followed by verb e for PNG and then object next the kids play in the garden when it suddenly began to rain uh, we can see here there is when you can see there is when don't forget about the formula of the when so blah 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 when blah 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 so the the answer is yes the kids were playing in the garden when it suddenly began to rain so the kids the kids it's a uh, plural so we used were were playing in the garden we can see here there is um And then next, I practiced the guitar together when he came home. We can see here there is when again. Okay, the answer is I was practicing the guitar when he came home. So this is about the so you can see there is when. So what is the first event? So the long, long, long action. The long action is I was practicing the guitar, and then followed by he came home. He came home with simple past tense. Okay, good. Next, what you do yesterday? <coughs> okay, the answer is it is the interrogative sentence. What were you doing yesterday? So, were used by uh, you used were. Okay. Next, I listen to the radio while my sister watch TV. Don't forget about the while. You can uh, you get the when, but this is the expression about the while. Okay. Yes, I. <clears throat> so, what is the first event? So, the while is used by same event in the same time. I mean. So the answer is, yeah. I was listening to the radio while my sister was watching TV. So the. Even A and even B is occurred in the same time. So when you use while, you have to use past continuous while and followed by past continuous again. <coughs> and then the last. We study English yesterday at 4 p.m. And then the answer is, we were studying English yesterday at 4 p.m. So we, when we use we, uh, followed by were studying English. Good job. Do you understand about past continuous tense? Also, I have some exercise. The second exercise is a uh, conversation so uh, same as previous exercise uh, this about the dialogue okay I will give you the number one as an example okay were you meet Ronnie were you meet Ronnie yesterday yes he exercised at the gym when I called him you can see this when don't forget about the when. So he exercised is 
The answer is yes. Yes, he was exercising at the gym when I called him. So the long action is he was exercising. The past continuous ones. And the simple past one is when I called him. Nice. Okay, next. Are you prime last weekend, Dodi? Yes, I'm climb with my brother and my sister. So, there is two questions here. The first one is the interrogative. So, what do you think? Yes. Don't forget about the formula. Is The answer is yes. Were you climbing last weekend, Jody? So, in for interrogative, interrogative, to be or was or were and subject verb ing and then object then how about the 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 b dial b yes i was climbing with my brother and my sister uh next Where was Lily yesterday? I don't know. She cried when I just bumped her at the class. So there is two same two questions, but this is the one. So she, the answer is, she was crying when I just bumped her at the Class. Good job. Good job, everyone. These are some vocabularies which related to our lesson. So we can read this together. And don't forget to write down the vocabularies into your notebook. Okay, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to gain your vocabulary skills from this video. So thank you for watching and See you later in the next video. Bye!